hello so I'm gonna do a, another quick video here hopefully keep it at 15 minutes or below uh, so I just wanted to talk about some of the things I purchased recently so every year my sister gives me a $50 gift card from Cabela's so last year she gave me a $50 gift card um, right around this time I think it was either for my birthday or Father's Day but I couldn't use it because uh, Cabela's was sold out of everything you know due to the, the pandemic everyone was buying shit so mainly I wanted either ammo or uh, uh, Magpul sling uh, because I have two uh, I have a uh, at least two AKs well I have two AKs and an AR-15 that have Magpul let's see something in my there you go Magpul uh, furniture on them so uh, what I wanted to do was buy a sling I think one only have so I have two rifles that have slings that came with slings but uh, I wanted to try out Magpul on one of my uh, PSA AKs so the the AKV actually has all Magpul furniture so I wanted to get a Magpul sling for it uh, and of course only up until recently a full year uh, later do I see that Cabela had them in stock so I used uh, two, two of these gift cards to buy <clears throat> this come on focus please focus what's going on with you camera so it doesn't like that angle so we bought this and we bought this so we just talked about what I'm gonna do with the sling uh, we're gonna talk about the sling again in a minute but I wanted to speak for the punch set so I have uh, several punch sets but I have none that are brass uh, so this one has eight brass excuse me brass punches and a hammer um, so I also have a rubber mallet and my plan is to change the sights on my Metro Arms 1911 uh, the rear sights are non adjustable and I have a feeling that they're gonna need to be adjusted uh, so the plan is for me you know, I was gonna hire someone to do it but um, I'm not familiar of who uh, of, of any like uh, good gunsmiths out in my location here um, so I decided to try it myself um, the brass punch will help you to uh, well it, the reason why you want brass punches is because it will not mar your finish unless you have something like uh, one of those uh, I guess chrome or, or brushed uh, aluminum or something like that chrome shouldn't shouldn't scratch but the whole idea with with brass is that the brass is softer than the metal of the slide so it's not going to do any damage um, it might do some finish damage but um, I, I highly doubt it uh, we will see um, so I'm going to try and do this myself I still need a uh, workbench so I'm going to order one of those like collapsible ones I think I saw some some with uh some collapsible ones with mass uh because i don't want to buy a collapsible one that weighs like 15 pounds uh so i want one with some mass on it so that i can hammer on it without knocking the, the whole thing over right uh uh so i'm looking at a few uh benches and i'm looking for uh uh i don't need like a huge like 50 pound vice um, I do need something that'll hold the slide um, reasonably well without kind of being wobbly or anything like that so I'm, I'm looking at a few on Amazon um, so once we get done with that um, get getting the uh, once we get done purchasing both the workbench and if it doesn't come with a, a, a clamp then we'll buy a clamp uh, then we'll probably order and here's my thing uh i don't want to order any any fancy sites so i'll probably order either no, there's one or two options either straight from uh, metro arms 
uh, a majority of their sites I've already looked uh, are not adjustable but there are a couple that are um, so I will maybe purchase one of those um, or I'm kind of comfortable with Rock Island Armory Arm, Arms Corps uh, uh, parts and I've already looked at uh, a front and rear sight uh, so I have three Rock Island Armories and each one of those uh, they have the same exact sights so uh, my thought is that I'll just use those um, and I mean both brands both Metro Arms and uh, Arms Corps um, they both uh, use Novak style sights so uh, they should fit and if they don't then I'll order uh, some files and kind of do some you know some some taking off of material here and there just doing it very slowly you know just standard stuff for for fitting uh, uh 1911 sites uh so uh we're gonna we're gonna delve in that into that and uh i'll let you know how how things uh work out with that um so back to the uh the uh the sling here so they had several different colors, you know, like desert tan, uh, OD green. I opted for the black since the, the furniture on my AKV is uh, is black. Uh, um, so I did a quick fitting, um, and I, I love these clamps, by the way, and they, I love the fact that they have these locks, so uh, you can lock the uh, fastener in place. They won't pop open. Uh, they are actual metal I believe they look like the outside is I don't know they maybe they're not metal I have a magnet right here <laughs> yeah they're metal. the outside is not it looks to be plastic but the clamp itself is metal steel um so these little latches uh so these fasteners here or these loops and the buckles are plastic of course uh the the belt itself is nylon um yeah so i'm touching uh the magnet and yeah they're all plastic with the exception of the fastener itself but that's what magpul is right so the reason i want to discuss this is because with the akv and the akp um they have a front uh fastener to latch these uh these clips but they don't have any rear fasteners uh so so it's because mine are pistols and pistols come with braces and there's no place to fasten a brace uh, a sling onto a brace um, you have to buy a swivel and what I did was I went and I looked at the types of swivels I could see on both Cabela's and uh, and Amazon so I found and ordered the Magpul, the Magpul uh, quick detachment uh, sling swivel so the QD sling swivel Ugh, say that three times real fast um, so it's more than likely gonna work I mean Magpul for Magpul I just need something to be able to kind of latch onto this and uh, again there's nothing in place on the SBA 2 and SBA 3 braces uh, there's no loops or anything that for these to catch but um, they do have a uh, quick detachment areas on both of those uh, braces um, where you can kind of uh, clasp onto uh, those uh, swivels with something such as this so um, I've ordered two of those um, this time I ordered from Amazon but uh, th these these Magpul ones are not cheap and uh, I saw a bunch of different cheaper ones on Amazon but when looking at the reviews a lot of people complaining they, they either break or they don't fasten correctly and 
you know, you end up like uh, uh, dropping your gun when at the range because the, you know, the sling, uh, I guess the swivel comes apart. Um, some of them are, are like different sizes for, you know, that, that quick detachment, uh, you know, the little part that has the ball bearings on them. So uh, I just bought the Magpul ones, you know, buy once, cry once. So, uh, yeah, that they're they're expensive. The, the ones I ordered were $18 a piece. Cabela's carries them for $16 a piece, and they look like they had them in stock, but it took a while for them to get here, uh, for my parts to get here from Cabela's. So I decided to do Amazon this time, and I should have them on Friday. Once I have that in place, I'll, uh, once I have that in hand, I'll, uh, test fit, um, and, and I'm talking about this because I see a lot of people in uh, web forums and uh, Facebook groups, uh, I guess specifically AK-47, uh, Facebook and, and, and forum groups, uh, they always ask, and I was asking the same question as well, well, which, which one of these Magpul belts or, or slings will work with my AK-47 or AKV or AK variant or AK pattern rifle, right? So uh, I have tried with the uh, the uh, the Palmetto State Armory uh, pistols that I have. Um, I don't have any rifles f from them. I just have all of mine are pistols. Uh, but I do have a couple of other uh, AK-47 rifles that I have not tried this with. Uh, one of them is an underfolder. Um, not sure how that's going to work. But it, I believe that one already has a sling anyways. Uh, but this one looks a little bit better. But, I mean, that one's an arsenal. And the sling that it came with is actually pretty damn nice. So uh, we'll probably leave that be. Um, but again, you know, the whole reason I'm, po you know, I'm talking about this is because I saw and still see a lot of people asking, you know, that there's a ton of different types of slings out there. Um, even with Magpul products, if you just focus on Magpul products, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different ones. There's a two point and three point. Uh, I'm going to use the, the, so this one is both, both two point and three point. Um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on, um, I'm just going to use the two-point functionality on this. Uh, that's all I need, and half the time I might not even need it because it's not like I'm going to be kind of slinging and, and rucking in the, in the woods out here. Um, um, so uh, this is to address all those questions that, that folks may have. So if you're wondering what fits the AKV or the AKP, uh, this one definitely fits the MS3 Gen 2 sling. I believe that the Gen 3 will fit as well. I've heard other people saying that they got it to fit on their their PSA uh, AKs. Uh, so with that being said, you you will have to buy a swivel, and it, the swivel does not come with the the sling. So. Uh, if you're, if you're wanting to kind of not wait when you order this, order a, a Magpul QD Sling Swivel along with this. So if you're ordering two of these, then you'll have to order two of those swivels. Um, but uh, I shouldn't have any problems once that swivel or once that, that swivel set gets here. I ordered two of them, two of the swivels, even though I only have one. Of these because I do plan on ordering another one of these for my uh, my other pistol um, so we are done so my next video should be in the next couple of days um, I have not visited the range in uh, in a couple of weeks not since not my last video but the, the video before uh, when I was kind of uh, focusing on 1911s so I still need to go and validate that my sight adjustments on those 1911s are uh, will work. Um, if they don't, then I'll ensure that I'll bring a proper screwdriver or flathead or flat tip so that I can make adjustments because that's what I, I tried to do um, with, the, with the 10 millimeter. Um, I was actually able to adjust 
the other guns because they didn't need elevator uh, uh, adjustments but the 10 millimeter did did and the screwdriver that I had wasn't the right size so uh, so I had to kind of put that off so uh, I'll ensure that I bring the proper tool to the range on the next visit so that I have to make them on the fly I can and so that when I leave I'll have that uh, I'll have the sights dialed in um, but uh, another thing is I still need to find more 10 millimeter ammo um, I have not tried to order any I've been trying to find them locally and still not having luck um, although I do see a lot more 9 millimeter and uh, the, the popular calipers so mainly 9 millimeter and the uh, uh, 5.56 uh, because that's what most people have that's what most people demand um, and that's what most of those new buyers last year and this year that's you know that's the caliber that they you know their their gun needs so um, I will probably end up ordering more online as I always do it tends to be cheaper when you order online anyways um, that there's lots of options Whereas, you know, if you're finding it, you're trying to find it locally, um, there might not be an option or all of it might be high or there might not be any, you know. So uh, uh, if people ask where you get your ammo, I always get it online. Um, yes, I do um, believe in supporting uh, local gun stores to a point. Um, I've said before and I said again, it, you know, my money needs to kind of go far. I'm not going to sit here and I, I'm all for supporting um, gun stores and, and other gun owners. But um, if you're trying to gouge me, that's not that shit's not going to work. Um, I understand your need and you need to feed your family, but there there are a lot of gun stores out there right now that are taking advantage of the situation here uh, with with the, with the pandemic and uh, not probably doing the right thing. Um, for me, uh, if I go into a local gun store, I'll, I'll, I'll try and come out with something, you know, I'll, I'll try and, and buy something. Uh, but if, uh, if, uh, if I'm finding that ammo or something that I need is double the price of where I can find it elsewhere. Yeah. You can guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy whatever's cheaper in that regard. Uh, again, you know. I'm not I'm not I'm not I don't exist to make other people's pockets fat uh, there there are other people for that you know I like to make my money go far those folks who who don't care or have certain beliefs they can throw their money away all they want um, but uh, I'm not gonna do that so ordering online it is whether or not it's Cabela's you know, I ordered these parts online uh, or ammo, you know, ordering stuff like this online. Um, whatever works, you know. A lot of times when I, when I buy stuff online, it might not be local to me, but it's probably still a mom and pop store. I bought a lot of guns online um, that were shipped from uh, small stores or... or you know, like uh, mom and pop stores, brick and mortar stores, small stores that, you know, they ship the gun to me. So whether, you know, I'm ordering online or ordering locally, buying locally, you know, just because you order online doesn't mean that it's it's a it's a big store that you're ordering from. Right. So anyways, uh, just under 20 minutes and we're going to call it quits. Um, I will see you again in a couple of days. Right. Bye bye.